we are delving into matters of politics and as it pertains to the NDC. December 17 will be the final decider as to who wins what position in the national executive elections of the biggest opposition party, the NDC. A total of 81 persons have gone through vetting and balloting processes to enable them to compete in the um, elections and the key positions that will be contested for the chairman of course the general secretary position as well the national position national women's organizer and the youth organizer the national organizer position is being contested for by mr joseph y um, yamin also sidi abubakar musa and as well, Solomon Yao in cancer. The incumbent, Joshua Hamidu, is also on the ballot. This morning, we are hosting a national organizer hopeful, Mr. Solomon Yao in cancer, on the scoop to tell us what he intends to do differently with the biggest opposition party in parliament as we speak. Mr. Kansa, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. And I just want to um, pick your thoughts on this election coming so closely on the heels of the Qatar uh, World Cup tournament, do you think the, the World Cup will overshadow the, the, the polls Contest. by the NDC? Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, let me first and foremost extend my greetings to your cherished viewers and express my Your studio. This is my first time of being here, and I must confess, it's one of the best in the country. No wonder you are the best TV station in the country. Thank you. When you look at politics and football, they are both passionate uh, activities, and our contest is an intra party activity. So it depends on who is meeting who that the individual will take a choice as to whether I go to watch the football match or meet a candidate who is coming to share his thoughts on the politicking. On the uh, national uh, platform where we are advertising for the contest, that is where I cannot say much. The Kenyan populace who choose to uh, concentrate on the World Cup or concentrate on NDCs ads that will be putting out but looking at the scenario going around you can attest to the fact that our internal party members are more than ready to listen to those who are coming around to share their thoughts on what they are in to do there are many names in this contest for national organizer and i've mentioned joseph um, yamin sidi abubakar musa yourself and of course joshua um, Akamba also in the race as incumbent. Why do you think you stand out as the preferred candidate for national organizer? First and foremost, I, Solomon Yaon Kansa, has in the past served the NDC for 24 years consistently before I left my office and attempted to become national organizer. I stand out among all of them because most of them lack the experience of leading the party from the organizational point of view. Even the incumbent? That is why we are where we are. Where are you? NDC shouldn't have lost 2020 if we were to do the needful as far as organization is concerned. Organizing a political party is not about kifiting. It's not about radio programs. It's about a serious scientific activity. Today, as I speak with you, one of the major challenges of NDC is that our fortunes since 1992 keep dwindling. Then our opponent keeps soaring. And the challenge I have discovered is called voter entrapment. The, the concept of voter entrapment is a case where most Communities that support NDC are the communities where they travel a lot. And so when they do travel, the NDC, due to lack of proper organization, do not keep track on them. So when election draws near and the day comes, 
they troop to party offices to go and seek for assistance to go back and vote. If they don't get those assistance, it means that they won't vote. They get entrapped. The NDC does not lose election because there was despondency or apathy or whatsoever. There is a laid out process where you can transfer your vote if you have moved, as you are alleging. I'll, I'll come there. So that you re-register in another that constituency, another part of the no, country, that so that you can vote. If you leave that job to that individual, can you imagine a, a, a cocoa farmer a, 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 a worker who is in the hinterland? farm work and he has been brought from Sandima to come and be a farm hand and you expect that person to walk to the center of say body from Antobia to go to the center of Drabaso to go and do that registration that individual will not do it is the duty of the political party that's why I'm telling you that if you have a good organizer in place the duty of the political party is to keep in track. And so the organizer will what? Arrange for buses for no, people to you don't go don't arrange for buses. It's a political uh, uh, tact. So I won't explain it all. I've told you the problem. Mm -hmm. I won't explain how the solution is because my opponent is also listening. Why do you think the NDC lost the election? And you've mentioned this uh, yeah, lack we, of we, tact. Yes, we lost, we lost elections due to that... Uh, a phenomenon one, two, due to lack of uh, understanding in the electoral issues. That would have been the second thing I would discuss with you. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. So you can be doing the politics. Lack of understanding on, on the part of, on whose part? On the party's activists. If they don't understand the electoral issues, they will go to the poor side. At the start of every election is where Reagan starts. A lot of people don't know. When the presiding officer is a corrupted presiding officer, what happens is that you start the pool, statement of pool and add certain items if you are not conscious. When they finish and they are doing a ballot accounting, you are doomed. So you go to court and go and argue. But on the sheets, everything tallies because from the onset, he has added additional ballot. So when they add additional figures, it will, it will come to tally of the... Are you saying that's what happened? It happens in our politics. And so you, as an organizer, you need to walk through your party members with the electoral systems. They have to appreciate and understand it, that when one chose to become a party agent, he understands it all, and he will, he will help kept that one. So when that one is dealt with, then you are good to go. It sounds like you have a, a problem with how the current system is structured in the party. Do you? Not the uh, systemic structure. Okay. It's the attitude and behavior. So what do you hope to change? What I, I bring on board is to run periodic capacity building. That will seek to build the knowledge base of our party activists who in turn become our party agents and who cure the issue of uh, uh, pulling uh, 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 Reagan. But if you have these ideas, a member of the party, why not help the incumbents to do it? Do you have an, an issue with um, the one in charge of the, the organization now, uh, Mr. Kam? No, it shouldn't be an issue. We are all seeking to help the party. I contested in 2018. Mm -hmm. When I lost, I did not sit back. I contributed. In doing so, that I discovered all this. In the past, I was the national communication officer. You understand? Look at what I left behind. And I'm, I said I was moving to the organizational department because I saw all these things in that organizational department, that everybody was moving away from every fraud into the communication sector because when they come to radio and whatever they seek to become popular you don't become popular at the expense of the organizational growth so there's the need for someone to come and also change the organizational for tricking there and that's why i asked you what is it about the current situation do you want to change what which part of it do you want tweaking almost every part of the organizational aspect of our party ought to be 
reformed or refurbished. Give me an example of what the situation is now and what changes you are hoping to implement. Yes. One, you have to erect an organizational system for the party. Even if everybody goes to sleep, the organizational department of NDC must not go to sleep. Meaning that you must put together the organizer, the women organizer, and the youth organizer, and the Zongo caucus. Then you create a system that I may call it uh, NDC's operational team. Starting from national, regional, constituency, and branch. So that at any point in time, there's the need for them to go. At any point in time, messages come from top and from uh, uh, to bottom and bottom to top uh, so that we will understand and appreciate what is happening and proffer solutions to. This is not being done. The next thing has to do with working and introducing scientific method of politicking. There's, Polit a si there's a science to the politics. Yes. And you, you think you should implement it. What would that look like? What would implementing that look like it in your eyes fine you have to have a research department and the organizer's office that will let you know that the, the changing times and moments in the country what are the things people want to hear there are different type of communication that must be uh, uh, evolved what we say on radio must be different from what our leg men say. and if you don't have uh, uh, bits and pieces of information that you yourself have elicited from the ground and proffer solutions and brand it and send it back to your leg men, then you are not in political business. So if you had, as, as, as national organizer, let's jump the gun a bit and yes. presume that you do get the mandate of your delegates to give you, you this prophesied. position. Um, what, <laughs> what would be your key message in these times as a party member as national organizer to the people of Ghana, whose vote you're looking to get yes. in 2024? Vote for Solomon Kansa to come and change our state of affairs or status quo and to deliver victory because NDC is far bigger and larger than the MPP. Our only problem is that we've not been organizing and organizing everything. You are behind, though. I'm ahead. I'm saying that you won the election. You are a national organizer. Oh, oh, and oh. you are speaking to the Ghanaians who will vote in 2024. Oh, I thought what I said I, I should key... speak to the uh, NDC uh, upcoming electorate. Oh, the, the electorate, you speak to them in a little while. Fantastic. I'm saying that you, you, you talked about being able to know what to communicate at what time. Yeah. And I'm asking you, in these times, assuming that you, you had the nod of, of the delegates, what would be your message? What would you be telling Ghanaians? First and foremost, we'll tell Ghanaians about the reckless nature of our finance uh, or our economic management team things that they could have done better that they didn't do. And when they are caught, pans down, they refer to NDC. So Ghanaians should let NDC come and correct the mess and lead us from this our economic world, economic prosperity. A number of uh, suggestions have been made as to how all of us, because we are all in this together, um, can help rebuild the economy to what we, we would expect it to be. What do you think your strategy would be in your own corner to make this possible? First and foremost, there should be honesty and sincerity from those making the call so that we also contribute our bit. And from my corner, what I would do is that when the government brings out anything, we we'll generally support it. Because you cannot do anything on your own to impart the system. Is the government that should set the pace for us to follow. So when they bring good initiatives with honesty and sincerity, we all will join it. Because you cannot do anything at your small corner and think that it can impact on the technique of the system. Who would you be backing for flag bearer? We've had, of course, former President John Mahama um, making a comeback. 
We've also heard names like former finance minister, Dr. Kwabna Dufo, expressing his intent yes. to contest. Whose camp are you in? As an organizer, and I'm going to be the center of the party revolve around. I would have wished that I didn't ask this question, but this question needs no answer because in NDC, it, it will be easier for the camel to pass through the needle hole than uh, John Dramani Mama losing. Any time Mama contests election in NDC, he will win. And so he doesn't need a lot of people going to radio to support him to create internal uh, elections. Dr. Dufour is a fine gentleman who can add to the beauty of NDC's contest, just for its beauty aspect. But for any electoral fortunes, I'm afraid it won't happen in the NDC that I know. I've been a former regional youth organizer in Western Region when Late Moss was alive and contesting. And we saw how it went. I've been in the NDC and I've seen what happened in MPP. Nanado started off Alan when he took over as a leader. Each time he went, he won. Mama will win any election he contests so long as he lives. But my advice to NDC members is that when anybody pops up to come and contest, we should be mindful on what we say to that individual. Because after the contest, that individual will be needed to support us to win. So most often than not, people tag me anti Mahama because I will not be actually at the fore. And I believe that it, it, it is not something that will help the NDC. Because Mama doesn't need any of us before he will win. He will win any day, any hour, any moment. So are you in Team Mahama? Are you Being in Team Mahama? Mahama or not in Team Mahama, Mahama will win. As an organizer, it should be, uh, it should, it should, it should be a situation where uh, if I become the national organizer. Would it be easier for you with um, former President Mahama as a candidate? Easier as a to, win the na to win the national elections. That's what I've told you. Because he is the one who can deliver uh, political power. So that is why most people who are not politically matured sees anybody coming on board to contest him as coming to spoil our chance and that they become harsh. And that's why I'm advising those people that they don't need to speak harsh. Don't think perhaps that former President Mahama would be the right pick for the party because they, they express sentiments that because of everything that has happened in the past, yes. it would be very easy work for the opposition, uh, for the, the opposing party mm. to find information about his, his, his activities to fall on in a campaign when it comes to possibly an attack. Whereas a new candidate would present a new challenge. A for, new, for, a new, for them to find information on. A new candidate will also come and you'll be naked because you won't have anything to show off. Okay. You understand? Those who are also making that argument should know that the MPP at the time will be trumpeting of their sources. That will be the time you'll be mentioning Mahama's success. You understand? So, if you are that experienced in Ghana's politics, I believe that fail to organize itself, that will lose. It's not Mama that will give NDC power. Mama will lead NDC to political power. NDC must organize itself. And what he has done, look, when MPP were caught pants down, everything that they say, even at the uh, 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 censure, the minister, what I did was what they did in 2014. What I did is what they did in this. So it tells you that even when he, he found he had nothing to show off, he went into what Mama laid down to come and show Ghanaians that he didn't commit any drama. So why waste your time? Bring the Mama who laid all those structures in place and to come and do it better. But he is not doing it. And yet, why? despite those successes, the NDC still lost the election. The, the former President yeah. Mahama still lost uh, that contest. I have told you President that losing an election is not about voting alone. So It's not a matter of complacency. It's a matter of electoral tact. It's tactics and strategy. And I have told you that if you have a political, you are a political party 
where a lot a chunk of your party members are internal migrants you understand and you don't put in place measures of tracking measures of making sure that the average ndc sympathizer in the country votes and i promise you if i should become the ndc's national organizer you will see the vote difference what would be the strategy how are you going to that's achieve what i told that? you because that there I won't are, tell you the people, strategy on set. I'll tell you the problems. But people are because watching knowing and the, trying to win No, no, no. Votes. I don't need to convince them. I need to let them know that I know the problems. Because we are in competitive environment. Okay, let's, let's talk a bit more about the problems then. And perhaps yes. you can talk about the solutions. Yeah. You mentioned, for example, people moving and they yes. cannot transfer and well, their That's votes. what I termed uh, so that's one voter of entrapment. The voter case of, entrapment. The case of NDC and its dwindling. Uh, uh, fortunes. Voter entrapment because yes. people move from one area to, to another. That, that. How how what's the entrapment here? Fantastic. You see, when they move from their area to other places, and because they are into low income activities, they themselves cannot transport themselves to their original right. destination. I think you, 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 you tried explaining that area. that area. So you have an opportunity to speak directly to the people who may be considering you for the position of national organizer. So yeah. make your case and tell us why they should choose you and nobody else among this uh, fine list of people who are also yes. contesting. Uh, fellow Akatamansonians and the good people of NDC, particularly you, the delegates, stakeholders, council of elders, party functionaries, cadres, and then up-and-coming party members. I will need you to vote for Yao in Kansan, Solomon, so that you experience new changes, new directions, and new dynamism. I will build a robust, resilient, and responsive party support base so that we will respond to the needs of Ghanaians. Winning election is not about politicking. It's not about fisc off. It's not about macho. It's not about anything. It's about doing what that the community needs. The MPP and the NDC will live in the same house. Your attitude, your behaviors are the ones that they look and vote for you. John Draman Mama is not in every home, but NDC is in every home. MPP is in every home. I will come and show you how to communicate, how to relate, how to behave yes, at your hood so that in the end your individual activities will near to the benefit of the NDC. Winning election, once again, is a knowledge-based activity. MPP can gerrymander. If you don't have the knowledge and the eye to see that they are doing their gerrymandering, you will lose election even when they are unpopular. Election does not produce what everybody expects. It produces what the individual has put into the uh, uh, contest. I am telling you that if you elect me as your national organizer, having become your national communication officer, having been a regional youth organizer from Western region, I understand it all. I know the MPP better than all those contesting me because I've contested with them in Western region. I contested them in 2012. I've been with them in all by elections and I've shown my exploits. I can't this morning to tell you all that you need to know, but I can tell you that in Solomon Kansa lies strategies to deliver election victory. Thank you. Thank you, Solomon, for sitting with us and for making the appeal to delegates. So if you're a member of the NDC and you're a delegate and you have voting powers and rights, Solomon is making a case for you to make him the party's next national organizer. And he's just appealed for your vote on December 17, which will be the day that will decide the national executives for the party. Solomon. Thank you for sitting with us. You You're still watching Breakfast Live.